What do we mean by parametric 3D modeling and why is it different from 2D CAD drawings? In the world of 2D drawings, if we want to showcase a 3D element, we need to draw at least three pieces of drawing, a plan view, a front view and side views. However, the subject itself does not exist in the virtual space at all. We only use virtual paper sheets to document it and we have to remember and adjust every detail of the 3D objects on multiple 2D drawings. In case of a complicated architectural construction plan, it can become extremely difficult to keep all the details in mind, track all the changes and make adjustments on every layer of our documentation plan. On the other hand, if we create the same 3D shape by defining its parameters within the virtual space, we can set up viewpoints that will automatically detect the shape of that object. Let's see this example. We've created this simplified house within the project space. As you can see, although we created the walls and floor plan, it's represented in the 3D view as well. We can create elements in the 3D window, which will show on the floor plan and on the related viewpoints. Now let's see how we apply changes within a traditional 2D base workflow. We need to change the size of the openings and the height of the new roof on all the related views manually. In 3D, whenever we make any changes on this model, those will be reflected on all the viewpoints we've set up before. This way, all the documentation is updated automatically we don't need to manually adjust the lines and we don't have to worry about forgetting to apply any changes on any of the related views. All in all, 3D modeling is just on a whole new level when you have to make changes to your design and update documentation quickly. On top of that, annotation items such as dimension lines and information labels are associated with the 3D elements and its data so those are following the changes automatically as well. That concludes the main conceptual difference between 2D and 3D based workflows.